ya. Hello YouTube family and welcome to the next episode of This and That. Yes it is, your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. Alright family, don't be confused. You tuned in to the right channel. This is the This and That channel. It's not the Rosie and Red RV channel. And the reason that things are looking a little mixed up, I am at an RV site. Uh, in Kinder, Louisiana at Cachada. We've been here several times before. One of our favorite sites. Uh, there's a casino here and I like to do a little gambling from time to time. So that's why we're here. But as the title uh, represents, this video is all about the hot logic. Uh, there's a couple of things that I want to update y'all on. Right now I'm headed to the local uh, supermarket. I got to pick up a couple of things for breakfast. And then we're gonna get back uh, and we're gonna talk all about the Hot Logic, the Hot Logic uh, family size. And uh, we're gonna give you an update on the Hot Logic Mini 12 Bolt, the first one I ever bought. Uh, it's not, it's good and then not so good. But y'all stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you all about it. We'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, fam, we are back from the supermarket. We were able to back right in front of the propane exchange. And now we've got ourselves a brand new propane tank. We'll go ahead and put this up front and we'll set it up later. Now, we were able to go inside, pick up a few things. Uh, we we're able to get our water. We we're able to get our tea. Uh, I think we got tomatoes. Uh, we got eggs, uh, milk, all the essentials. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that inside, and we're gonna see what we got going on in the Hot Logic. Y'all stay tuned. All right, family, let's talk hot logics. We've got good hot logic news and we've got not so good hot logic news. It's not really bad news. It's just that an era has come to an end. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is my original 12 volt hot logic that I keep in the G gets bounced around, beat up. We put hundreds of hours on that thing. And you can't, when you deal with the hot logic, you can't just talk about usages. You actually have to talk about hours, in my opinion. Where most people will use a hot logic one hour, two hours in a day, there's been times that I've used my hot logic eight hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, where I've cooked something all night long. So, the 12 volt hot logic in the Jeep finally gave up the ghost. I uh, went to plug it up about a week ago. It was right after I made the video uh, with the vegetables in that thick tray. And I thought it was kind of a, uh, the tray had caused the vegetables to cook slower. I was getting ready to do a second video and leave the vegetables in the hot logic for a couple of hours longer than I originally did. I put it in, plugged it up. The light came on, showing that it was on on the plug. I went back two hours later for my break. Nothing. It was cold. So, in the beginning of this video, you will see me, or I'll drop it in here, where I actually open up this hot logic, the one here, and I put my hand in. I unzip it, put my hand in, and I check the temperature of the hot plate. To make sure it's working. 
And for now on, I'll do that because, like I said, in the 12 volt hot logic in the Jeep, I failed to do so. So for two hours, that vegetable just sat there in that hot Jeep, are not cooking. So that's just a uh, heads up. But nothing against the hot logic. That thing has given me hundreds of hours of usage. In my opinion, because I've had this one now about five years. In my opinion, I got three to four years of usage out of that thing because due to the hours that I put on it. Now, with that being said, we're out at the campground at Cachada, Indian Reservation, about 45 minutes away from home. Tanya had cooked me some, uh, what do you call that? It's kind of like a potato, stir fry, potatoes. So I put that on right before I left to go to the store and it is piping hot. So now we're going to put us a couple of eggs on. The hot plate on. All right, now she's on. The hot plate's on. It wasn't on. I had uh, plugged in the uh, coffee pot and the hot logic. So what we're going to do is we're going to put us a couple of eggs on. We're going to throw it on top of these potatoes and whoo, have ourselves quite the breakfast. All right, family, y'all stand by. We'll be right back. All right, fam, look at that steam coming off of there. That's about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour in the hot logic. One more thing that the hot logic can do. Now, it's not good when it comes to camping, but when it comes to RVing, it's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, baby. All right, fam. It's been a short, down and dirty video from your boy at the RV site doing my thing and my and by the way I'm by myself uh Red had to go back to work so she's been gone this will be her second day my second day here in the RV all by my lonesome but hey every now and then a guy's gotta do what a guy's gotta do but uh on another note I'm off limits from the casino because I went yesterday I had a little winnings I was up a little bit and I managed to put it all back in the machines. I don't have a gambling problem, but I like to try. All right, fam. No, I just I just do me. I'm enjoying myself. Ever since my my diagnosis last year, me and Tanya made a me and Red made a pact to really enjoy ourselves, not to go overboard, but to enjoy ourselves, to enjoy each other. And any time that we can have moments together. Uh, we'll do it, but anytime we can have moments of solitude, we'll do that as well. All right, family. I got more videos to make, and these will be for the other channel, the RVing with Rosie and Red channel. Y'all be sure to go over and check that channel out. I got some good stuff coming. I got a lot of good footage. Just had to have a chance to edit it yet. All right, family. Once again, one more thing that the Hot Logic can do, and... Rest in peace to my 12 volt hot logic. I do have another video coming where I'm going to do something very creative with the hot logics, but that involves this hot logic and two of the 12 volt hot logics. So now I need to order another one. And one more thing before we go I've never reached out to a company as of yet for sponsorship or just maybe to send me something to test. But I am thinking about reaching out to Hot Logic because I really love their product and to see if they will gift me another 12 volt Hot Logic. So that's in the works. So y'all stay tuned. All right, family, if y'all enjoyed this video, y'all give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. And please give your boy a like and let's interact with this uh, video and uh, get it out there in front of more people because I really want more people to know about the Hot Logic. All right, family, y'all have a good one. Your boy finna partake of this beautiful breakfast that the Hot Logic helped prepare. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.